Alright guys, welcome back to our next video. Alright guys, so today I got some simple tips and tricks that you guys could use to improve your performance out of your Xbox Rogue Ally X, right? So these tips, they help you with your daily usage and give you a smooth experience while using the system. So I'm just going to go through them real quick and you guys could see what's going on. And while I'm telling you what you're doing, I'll also tell you what it does and how does it improve your overall experience while using this system guys all right so first things first um open up armor crate when you get here just go to performance and then you go to gpu settings and here this is where you could change the vram so your memory assigned to gpu all right so if you click on this right here it gives you a lot of options in here on default on the system i think it comes at eight gigs but i'll stay put it at 10 gigabytes you have at least this whole system is about 24 gigabytes of RAM that you have with the system. So I'd say 10 is a great sweet spot. Why? Because it's in the middle and certain games need a lot more RAM to run properly and smoother. So if you're inside a game and you're playing it and you see that it's kind of sluggish, moving slowly, it's not really playing as best as it should be because you're seeing other people playing and they're getting better experience out of it, it probably is your VRAM, right? So. The game probably needs a little bit more RAM so it could perform a little bit better. So you come in here and you could change it to 10 and that's a sweet spot right there. And then once you do that and you hit, it will ask you to restart. So I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want to restart my system, but 10 gig is a sweet spot. 8 is all right, but I'll say put it at 10 just in case depending on what game you're playing guys. All right, so next since I'm here, you go to performance, then you go to equal assist and then you will see CPU boost. With CPU boost, I recommend you keeping it off, but it also depends on what you're doing, what game you're playing. If you're playing a lot of emulation games, then I say keep it on because emulation is more CPU based. So I say keep it on because then it push more power towards the CPU, giving you better experience and performance while playing an emulated game, right? But if you're playing a GPU related game, then keep this off because while you have it on, it's pushing more power towards the CPU, but then you really need it towards your GPU because you're playing a GPU dependent game, if you get what I'm saying. Keep this off depending on what you're doing, guys. Also, it drains your battery, all depending on what you're doing, what game you're playing, as I said before, but most of the time I have this off because I'm mostly playing GPU dependent game, guys. You could also put it in your quick menu so you don't have to come all the way here. So open up this right here then you go to armor crate come down here it should be here. It's right here you just gotta hit edit then you scroll down and then you press add and then you look for it in here and you add it to your quick menu so you can turn it on and off whenever you want guys all right this next thing next few things i want to show you guys you gotta go to desktop mode so you get the desktop mode real quick then once you're here you could search for the amd application so this feature I'm about to show you, this is more about uh, visual fidelity, not really about performance, but this gives you better visual fidelity. Once you're here, you go to settings, come down. I think it's in display right here. Then you scroll down. Very bright will be optimized right here. Very bright is mostly for your battery, I would say. So when you're on plug, this activates and it messes with your visual fidelity. So your screen is not going to look as great as how it should be. It will look weird, guys. And I noticed that when I have it on. So once it's on and you're not plugged in, it'll be optimized. But your battery system lasts a little bit longer because it's doing something to the screen to prevent the battery from draining a lot faster than if it's not on, guys. But it also messes with the screen and how it looks. And I don't like how it looks. So you can turn it off all depends and what you like guys so if you want to keep it on you want a longer lasting battery if the way how it looks is not really affecting you then you keep it on guys but i don't really like how it looks and i don't think it drains my battery that crazy you know hear I me mean? and most of the time after the time i'm plugged in anyways close to a charger or something like that so i'm all i have it off guys then next thing too you come to search top core isolation then it should bring you right here I know you guys may know about this already. You see, if you've seen my other videos, this is a recommended feature that you should turn off, guys. So it's called memory integrity. Once you go like that, mine is off already, so I'm not even going to turn it on. 
This right here will be on in your system by default. You want to turn this off, guys. This is recommended by Microsoft. That if you want better performance out of your system, you should keep it off. And what memory integrity does or core isolation, it's mainly for, mainly it's like a protective system. It helps you and protect your system from different type of malwares and stuff like that. But if you're not doing anything shady in your system, if you're just playing games and you're just going about your day doing regular stuff in your, your system, you don't really need this on. And all my devices is off and I never had any issue or any type of attack on my device. If you're into some crazy stuff, that, then I'll say keep it on guys. But this right here, as I said, it's recommended by Microsoft to turn off to get better performance audio system guys. And then the last thing you could do to improve your performance as well, minimize this. If you go here, you type Windows features, come in here, and then you're looking for virtual machine platform. If this is ticked, then you can untick it. And each of these things that I tell you to turn off or change in your system it might ask you to get to do a restart. But that's basically it, guys. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And hit that like button if you like what I'm posting. Sub to channel for my awesome content, guys. And remember what I always say, health is wealth, peace and love. I'm out, guys. Mm -hmm.